Hello to all you saucy ladies and rakish lads. Get ready to rip those bodices and release those flowing locks because this is Bodice Ripping, the podcast where we rip romance novels and compare them to real life relationships. I'm Allie, and as always, these are my three lovely co hosts. Hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> and what are you drinking? Oh, right. Um, I am drinking Angry Orchard Hard Cider Rose. Ooh, I love that stuff. It's fancy, I like it. <laughs> I'm Lauren, and I'm drinking Menage a Trois Decadence. Ooh. I have the whole bottle here. <laughs> nice. I, I, I get one. long. <laughs> um, I'm Gina, and I'm drinking vodka and Mountain Dew out of a lime glass. Because <laughs> I'm fancy. And I didn't have beautiful. any beer or wine, and I, I didn't want to drink straight vodka. So here we are. That's yeah. fair. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm drinking a, a, a Molbeck. It is uh, Tinto... Oh, hold on. I don't have my camera on the screen. There we go. Tinto Negro Molbeck mm-hmm. that I took from my work. Nice. By took, I mean bought. I actually bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Good but job. I also, have, I also have the whole bottle, but I'm just drinking it out of a wine glass. Yeah, me, me too. too. Except right. it's... It's my kind of money. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. So, Gina p- picked, cooked. Gina poked the book this month. <laughs> <laughs> Gina picked the book this month. Um. All right. So this month we read *Pleasure Unbound*, a Demonica novel. Um. It's book one in the Demonica series by Larissa Ione. Uh, summary says, in a place where ecstasy can cost you your life. She's a demon slayer who hungers for sensual pleasure, but fears it will always be denied her. Until <laughs> Taylor Mancuso lands in a hospital run by demons in disguise, and the head doctor, Adolin, makes her body burn with unslakable desire. But to prove her ultimate loyalty <laughs> to her peers, she must betray the surgeon who saved her life. Two lovers will dare to risk all. Adolin cannot resist this fiery, dangerous woman who fills him with both rage and passion. Not only is she his avowed enemy, but she could very well be the hunter who has been preying upon his people. Torn between his need for the truth and his quest to find his perfect mate before a horrific transformation claims him forever, Adolin will dare the unthinkable and let Tayla possess him body and soul. Ooh. That's actually a really good summary of the book. (laughs) Yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Um, so I guess basically, uh, a little bit more detailed summary of it is, um, there's, like, it mentioned the underground demon hospital that Adolin is kind of, like, the chief of, like, he runs Mm -hmm. it, I think he's, I think they say he started it and everything, too. Yeah. And then there's Taylor, who is a part of a group called the Aegis? I think is how you pronounce it. That's yeah, what I she's said. A guardian. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're group. They're basically demon hunters, and um, she lands in the hospital after getting in a fight with a particularly nasty demon. And so then that's how they meet, and they pretty much start doing it like right off the bat. Um, chapter two. And yeah, like chapter within two twenty five like, pages there yeah. was sex. Yes. Yep. Um, and kind of like the overarching plot of it is that there's, um, a group of guardians that are harvesting organs for demons, from demons, and like selling them in the black market or something like that, I think is what they get into. They didn't know if they were guardians, they were just someone. The demons thought for sure it was the guardians, the guardians didn't know who it was. Yeah, guardians I don't even think knew what was going on. Yeah. Um... But, so then it's them trying to figure out who's harvesting organs from demons, and, uh, Taylor finding out that she's half-demon, uh, and Adolin is, at the same time, going through, uh, because he, he's a incubus, right? Yep. Seminus yes. demon, I think, was the... Yeah, but yeah. He, he's, he's the sex demon, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, and he's going through what they called the... Oh, the S- Genesis. S- 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 Genesis? S- S- Genesis? Yeah, S- S- Genesis. Genesis. I kept reading it as S. Genesis. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's like a transformation where if he doesn't find a mate before this happens, then he becomes like a... Uh, uh, essentially a demon ruled purely on, like, instinct. And, like, trying to... Uh, sex drive. Imp- yeah, yeah. Se- pure sex drive, pretty rape, much. Rape everybody up in here. Trying basically. to impregnate impregnate as many other creatures. Because I don't think it's necessarily specifically demons. Like, he'd probably go after humans as well. Mm-hmm. No, I think possible. he said if it was a non-demon, that then the baby died. Or the baby right, would but be a still, demon. He would, still, he would still be, like... Uh, push Attractive. to go after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Just no baby. Yeah, so. <laughs> I think that's kind of pretty much general plot. Yeah. But I don't know if I missed anything. That's, um, that's Taylor much. also can't come during sex, yes. and that's a big part of the story. Yeah. Um, and he, being a sex demon, is very upset with himself that he can't make her come. <laughs> um, and he has two brothers who um, are from different species, Shade and Wraith. And they each have different... Each of the brothers has different like powers that can help with impregnating or also help to be you know, useful for doctoring. Like one of... Adolin can heal, and Shade can be like a local anesthetic like he can yeah numb he, he like can numb numb pain and wraith makes people have like fantasies in their head yeah yeah he can yeah. like calm people down or make them pretty much feel whatever he wants them to yeah mm-hmm. um Sex and they've means. all they all have the same father and different mothers yeah yep. and there that's were why, that's why they're all brothers yeah and like technically they're like they're technically the same species, but they're all different variations. Yeah, I think it mentions, like, if you're a Seminus demon or whatever, whatever your offspring is, they're also Seminus demons, no matter what the mother is. Yes. I yeah. think was the... Mm-hmm. But with slight variations. Yeah, like, like within power. One of them is stuff. a vampire, and so he's yeah, got some yeah, vampire Wraith. stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wraith is part vampire. There, yeah, there are also vampires and werewolves in this book. <laughs> <laughs> and they had like 70 brothers, but now they're the only ones left. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I can't remember the exact number. 44. Okay. Oh, there you go. Close enough. <laughs> Wait, were they, Should have been 69, ones, but here we are. Were they the only ones left, or just the only ones that kind of like kept in touch with each other? They were the only, left only ones left. Because oh, okay. a lot of them get like killed at birth. Oh, um, right. And then whenever they go through the Sogenesis transformation, it's very likely that they get murdered by the men who aren't too happy with them raping and sexing up their their wives. Because yep. it doesn't have to be rape. If, you know, they can seduce too, but it's a lot yeah. of rape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they did have a fourth brother, Roag. Yeah. I don't or yeah. something. Um, Rogue. Was Rogue. Rogue. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but he was murdered by guardians, which is important in the plot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't necessarily know if it's super important to the plot. Well, it kind of like, cements his, like, hatred of Guardians, which makes the I hate you, but I love you between him and Taylor more dramatic, I, I say, guess. The only, time it, it, the only time it really becomes, like, an issue is she brings up, like, oh, I was there, I might have been the one that killed him, and then he gets pissed and runs off. Yeah, I and think he needed a reason it. to hate her as much as she hated him. Like, yeah. she hated him because he was a demon, and demons killed her mom, and demons are the worst, and she fights demons. Mm-hmm. He needed a reason to hate her besides the fact that she was just, like, human and actually half-demon. But, like, I don't think he had any reason to hate her other than... I mean, she was a slayer, guardian yeah. person. Yeah. But she hadn't wronged him, so he could look past a lot of that. Mm-hmm. But that was the way she had wronged him, by like, killing his brother, or potentially at least being there when his brother was killed. Yeah. I do really enjoy the way they kind of, like, diffused his anger about that, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, so, he, he's talking to his brother Sage. Sage? Shade. No, Shade. <laughs> <laughs> um, and 
Shade just kind of go like he mentions that uh, Taylor might have been the one who killed her brother, and then Shade just kind of goes, "Well, then I'd be thanking her." And he pretty much says, "Like he's pretty much just a dick." <laughs> he, yeah, he was a dick. Because <laughs> I guess he went through the uh, as Genesis, and did kind of turn into the sex-driven monster to a point. Yeah, but he was a jerk before that too. Yeah, yeah. and Adel is just—I don't know why he wouldn't see it. But for some reason, he just refused to... Yeah, they never really explain why Adolin was so, um, I guess, at, Protective. at all the time. <laughs> I think Shade and Wraith had, like, a mental connection, and so they were really close, and so then he just yeah. naturally got closer to Rogue, because that was the other brother that was available. But, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a good part, though. Where mm-hmm. was it, Wraith or Shade? I can't remember. His brother's just like, okay, yeah, that dude's a dick. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's, for some reason, yeah, he's finally just... like, oh, yeah, I guess he sort of was. And his brother's <laughs> like, and you knew she was a slayer. Like, I don't yeah. know why this is a surprise to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Way to be the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they call them slayers and buffies a lot, which I thought was cute. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of guardians. Yeah. I I did like that uh, Taylor's nickname for Adolin was Hellboy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was kind of cute. I thought that was really cute. Yeah. Um, so... Should we go through the rest of the story, like the, the second half? Oh, yeah. End. Yeah. So, um, I finished reading this a while ago, so I might get it mixed up. Just correct me. Um, so, Adolin has been kind of taking the place of Wraith in the vampire tribunal sort of thing. Um, and what they do is. Like, they have a quota of humans that vampires can eat, and if they eat too many, then they get punished. And uh, Wraith won't be able to survive the punishment, so Adolin goes instead. And this is kind of like when um, Taylor realizes for real that he's like, she actually cares about him. Um, so he comes back and he's just like destroyed and like blood, blood everywhere. It's horrible. <laughs> Pretty much no skin left. I don't know. They. That's an exaggeration. Um, someone else should take this over because I am not been going off on tangents anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then she calls Shade, or Shade, yeah. Yep. yeah. And he comes and helps Adolin feel better, and then her and Shade kind of talk, and Shade hates her. And um, But then he's like, well, I guess she's not so bad. She could have just killed him. Um that is too long that I just spent on that one point. <laughs> we got the time. Yeah. Okay. Um, what happened after that? Oh, uh, the Aegis that Taylor works for, um, they don't know that she's half demon. And it's getting all mixed up in my head. Or is it they, they, did, they didn't know that she was half demon, but I think a couple of them found out. They had they asked her... her to track Adolin back to the hospital so they could find it because obviously if someone's stitching up all the demons that they're trying to murder, that's not good for their business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, so she had put the tracker on his pager because it needed to be on an electronic. He went back to the hospital, gave the pager to a coworker, and the coworker got captured because he had the tracker. Then they yeah. tortured the coworker, and he knew that she was half demon, so he told a select few group of the guardians while he was being tortured. They they killed him, um, and that's how some of them found out that she was half demon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then they they <laughs> sent her uh, essentially as a suicide bomber. Yeah, back to the hospital. She didn't know that. She thought yeah. she was just gonna like send a signal to track them, but it was just a bomb. Yeah. And then she threw the bomb in the parking lot and saved the hospital. 
Yay. And accidentally helped bomb one of the people who was cutting up the demons. Right. So yeah. that worked out. That was good luck, I guess. Yes. Who incidentally <laughs> managed to injure someone involved in the uh, demon organ harvesting ring. Yeah. yeah. And so then she, uh, she got, she, the person who was injured ended up talking and they figured out uh, where this group kind of like, stashes the demons because they need to keep them alive I guess to harvest more organs or like organs go back or something like that in certain species yeah or to um, capture them and wait till the surgeon shows up yep so they kind of raid that and dismantle the organization a little bit it kind of, they uh, one of the ringleaders dies and the other one is severely injured and I think uh, it's, oh, I can't remember his name. Jagger? Jagger, yes. He, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still alive. No, I thought... I, I think she's, she's dead. I think she's, he's dead, because he stabbed Lori, who was yes. also a guardian. Yes. And then she stabbed him. Oh, that's right. They both died. Kynan, Keenan, I think, or whatever his name is. Yeah. Another guardian who was um, Lori's husband. Mm-hmm. Finds he's him. like a good guy. He's not really... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he had no idea any of this was going on. Yeah, so he found him, and he, like, dropped one of the cell phone bombs on, you know, in the house where they were. So I'm assuming he blowed up, blew up the evidence. <laughs> yeah. Blow it up. Blow it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Adolin and Tayla, um, they have this whole, like, back and forth thing, like, uh, they hate each other, they love each other, blah, blah, blah. Um... And then he tells her that he wants to, like, bond with her. And then she kind of realizes that it's like, well, he has to do that right now or he's going to change. And she's like, well, I don't want to be your last choice. And she just takes off. And um, eventually she realizes that he actually does love her. So, like, he had started the bonding process and then it was up to her to finish it. And so she did. So they're, like, bonded together forever. And they're, I don't know what happens when they bang other people, but apparently they don't. Like, yeah, they don't I want to. I think it to. makes it, like, yeah. physically impossible to even, like, want to bang yeah. other people. Mm-hmm. The end. The end. <laughs> yeah, also, think... um, Taylor's mother was, like, tortured for years and raped and killed by a really horrible demon. Yeah. And, like, Which she... That's how she's half demon. Yeah. And she watched it kill her mother, and she just hated it, and she didn't know it was actually her father until she met her sister. Her twin sister. Yeah, she has a sister. 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 Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know she had her a turtle. sister. But she has a sister who kind of, like, was... She was raised by demons, but, like, good ones, but they were, like, really strict, and... Mm-hmm. Um, so she had, like, these tattoos around her wrists and neck and ankles to kind of uh, bind her demon side so it wouldn't, she wouldn't, like, lose control, and, um, so she knew everything, and Taylor didn't. She'd been following Taylor around forever, and, uh... Creepers. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's worth mentioning, too, that Taylor's, like, demon DNA or whatever doesn't integrate with her human side very well. Oh, yeah, it's, like, causing her to, like, have mass paralysis. Yeah, she, like, loses control of her body and stuff, and the demons who find her at the hospital find this out, and they're like, yeah, it's gonna kill her if she doesn't, like, integrate it properly, so. she does struck- she ever? She does right at the end. They, like, kind of oh, swept it away until the right end of the book, and they're like, oh, by the way, and she's fine <laughs> now, I guess. <laughs> this kind of major plot point. It's, okay. it's fine. <laughs> They also snuck in there that Wraith has some sort of duplicate who was behind convincing the people to start chopping up demons. So I think that's, like, yeah. one point to go into the next book. But they're just mm-hmm. like, oh, it was Wraith. And he's like, it wasn't me. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, so it was actually, I found it kind of difficult to remember that this was the first book in a series. Because they did kind of wrap up quite a bit of it. Like, there's obviously some, like, loose ends, like, the whole thing with Wraith, and, um, um, like, we don't really know who's behind all the, like, the demon organ harvesting, and that that is still, could still technically be going on. Yeah. Yeah, they said they're but pretty the sure part, it's still it's going just, on. it's just kind of, like, 
wrapped up fairly nicely. Mm -hmm. I think the second, I think there's three books, the second and third probably follow different characters. Probably Wraith and Shade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're going to put Taylor and uh, Elon to the to the background, I guess. It took me a long time to um, be able to differentiate between Wraith and Shade, because like, the first half of the book, they're pretty much the same character. Yeah. And I'm just like, it's one of the brothers, I don't know. And then eventually oh, kinda, it became... I kind of figured it out pretty quickly. Yeah. It, it became a lot more distinct later. Like, yeah. you know, Shade was much more the good guy and Wraith is... An kinda... asshole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a lot of, like, good guy, bad guy stuff that's going on in this. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, like, Taylor having been part of this Aegis. Oh, they mentioned, like, a million times that um, she was... Orphan, she grew up on the streets, like, she didn't have anything, like, her childhood was just awful. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Aegis kind of picked her up, and that's why she's so loyal to them. But, um, so, obviously, they are just like, demons bad, blah, and that's what she believes for a long, long time. And then she's like, why would demons have a hospital if they're all horrible? And, you know, the hospital has all these protective spells to make sure that nobody can hurt anyone else except a loophole so the brothers can punch each other yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but it's it's just a lot of taylor realizing that there's you know a lot of gray areas and there's good demons and there's bad demons and there's good people mm -hmm. and there's bad people and the demons kind of at the same time are i mean i guess they already knew that not all people were bad but everyone's just kind of learning about each other and becoming more accepting Yay. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a very good uh, story, kind of about like how things aren't always black and white. Yeah, and I always like it when they kind of do that, you know, role reversal of the demons were kind of painted as the good guys, and the humans were kind yeah. of like the enemy. So I like when they flip flop that around; it makes it mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. There's a little bunny demon. I don't know oh, if it's yeah. little, yeah. but it, it, it. I loved those. Me too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But they and just like, kind of hop around, and Taylor's all ready to kill it, and he's like, They're vegetarians! <laughs> <laughs> they come out at Halloween to eat vegetables! <laughs> and she's like, No, they eat children! It's like, Nope, nope, nope. vegetables, honey. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then at, when they're fighting at, like, the, the zoo, where is the, where, uh, so the, um, I gotta think of a better name for him, because demon organ harvesting ring is a mouthful. Harvesters. Um, yeah, the harvesters. <laughs> where their, like, base of operations is the zoo, which I guess is a great place for demon to, like, hold demons. An abandoned zoo. Yeah. Yeah. An abandoned zoo. Um, but I, I, the same with the bunny demons. I remember there's the scene where she's fighting with um, Keenan. Keenan? I think so. Yeah. Um, she's fighting with him, and one of these bunny demons comes running along, and he gets all ready to kill it, and she goes, No, it's okay, it's vegetarian. <laughs> like, just kind of the same situation, just she's the one saying yeah. it's vegetarian. And he's like, But it's a demon, and she's like, Just leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the story kind of ends, too. She becomes, like, she stays on with the guardians, um, but instead of being a slayer, she's teaching them. Like, yeah. oh, these demons mm -hmm. aren't as bad, or make sure you know this about a certain demon, because mm -hmm. now that she's part demon and mates with a demon for the rest of her life, she's got to in on all their secrets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he's got, like, this big library of demon medicine and stuff, so she learns a lot about just, like, all the different types of demons and um, what they do. Yeah. I liked it. So I liked should we it talk about the sex? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we should talk about the sex. <laughs> yep. This was the most sex-filled book we've read so far. Oh, oh my, my god. god. It was yeah. everywhere. Every single chapter had something, at least. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't between Adolin and Taylor, it was between, like, a different set of characters. Yeah, so the first like, one we read is, like, so this is... You know, it's it's a romance novel, except no, it's not at all. There's no sex at all. And the second one is like, we're just going to tease you until 50%, and then that's it. And mm -hmm. this one, 
you open it up and it goes, we all know why we're here. All right. Let's just <laughs> get, get, to get that point. out of the way. Yeah. The tip? Let's just get to the tip. Yep. No. <laughs> just the tip. No, not, not really just the tip. No, no it was no, there's never a lot just the more. No, he, had a, he had a big old dick. Mm -hmm. So, the first one really kind of turned me off because it was like really rapey. But it was. It was not in the way that's like, well, it's okay because he's literally an incubus demon. You know, like, eventually there gets to be some that's a little bit like that, and it's definitely mm -hmm. painted as not okay. But the first yeah. one is, like, this really gray area where she's in the hospital, and she thinks she's dreaming because of reasons. I don't know. Just drugs oh, or Wraith. something? Wraith got in her head. Wraith oh, Wraith did it. Wraith, yeah. So and she thinks she's think dreaming. Having sex. And he asked her, like, three times if she's awake, and she's doesn't really answer him, so he just kind of goes for it. I think, I think she was. She asked him, like, he's oh. like, no, no, you're in, do you know where you are? And she's like, yeah, you know, and she's like grabbing at him and touching him, and because of this cygenesis, he's really, really horny, and it's right. super hard for him to even yeah. say no. And yeah. she keeps they can, like, they leading can also, him. Like, smell hormones or like if people are horny i guess yeah oh, yeah. <laughs> <Just awkward. laughs> yeah it was just this weird area where he's like really trying to be like i'm pretty sure you're asleep and she thinks she's asleep so she's like it's fine yeah she thought it was a yeah. dream i think yeah. so she's like All but right. then when when she does wake up and kind of start to freak out they do like stop kind of like, it mentions that, like, he's holding her while she's freaking out, but he's still also inside of her. Like, <laughs> dude, priorities here. I feel like that part got yeah, better Yeah, he says, later. perhaps now wasn't the time to fight his nature. Perhaps nature was his weapon against an age-old enemy. So I think he knows that it's not really nice, but since she's a slayer, he's kind of like... She's willing, and she's not she's a nice person, enemy. so yeah, it's okay. Fun to rape her. <laughs> yeah, and she, she she wants me to, <laughs> and she thinks he's human at this point. I don't think she knows that he's a demon. No, she doesn't yeah, know she where doesn't, she, she is. Doesn't yeah. know, she knows she's in a hospital, but she doesn't know she's in the demon hospital. Yeah, she also old. thought he was like banging hot. Yeah, Which, yeah. She thinks she's having a sex dream about a hot doctor, not that she's actually <laughs> I mean, banging a hot all. demon yeah, doctor. I mean, come on. <laughs> Um, it also had one of my favorite lines because, um, you know, like Lauren mentioned, she's not able to orgasm. And so she doesn't. And he's just like, really like, oh, I'm going to make you blah, blah, blah. You know, the kind of thing that can be sexy, but can be rapey. And, and, yeah. um, <laughs> and then what she says is tuck your ego back in your pants and deal with it. <laughs> I love it. She was so sassy. I did love some of her one lines. <laughs> and yeah. the, there was a line that um, Elon had in the beginning, too, because he thinks Taylor's, like, super hot sexy also. And uh, my favorite line from that was, she could crush him between her thighs and he'd beg her to make it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, queen! <laughs> <laughs> she got them thick thighs. Yeah. Um, and so then his that sperm is an aphrodisiac. Being, like more frustrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's his, a lot of frustration despite all the sex. <laughs> his yeah. sperm is an aphrodisiac, so it, like it's on her skin, and she's just like, "Oh, this is awful." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then um, when so when she gives him a blowjob and then swallows it, yeah, I was like, "What are you doing? <laughs> you can't wipe that off." I highlighted that because she was like, oh man, oh boy. <laughs> I, I highlighted And he's like, I should have stopped oh God, you, but I didn't. It. Well, he tried. Oh. He's like, wait, don't. <laughs> and she's like, but I want. He's like, you don't understand. And then he just kind of. And she's like, I made a mistake. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Do that again, Gina. <laughs> that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, um, I am horribly unprepared for this episode, because my book is on the other side of the room, <laughs> but, um, I highlighted the part where she describes what his dick tastes like, 
Oh, oh he smells and... like chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But well, she said, like, his dick tasted like, um... Oh, God. I can't remember what it was. It was something completely ridiculous. I have to find it. Hold on. Ridiculous. I highlighted it. Nah. Yes. Ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. She said he smelled like dark chocolate. <laughs> yes! And he I was fucking sex with a magic penis and hypnotic eyes. <laughs> he is definitely, like, the most attractive and likable male protagonist so far. I yeah, think. I, I liked him a lot. He was very, very much like, I'm gonna control the animal within me, and he was all like... <laughs> but sometimes it came he out, which was hot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I found it. I Except found that it. one time, that wasn't hot. Except the one time, yeah. yeah that was bad. <laughs> okay. There was, so, okay, the, I'm the way, sorry. The Wait. way she describes, oh. like, sucking on his dick and what that tastes like <laughs> is smoky, spicy flavors burst in her mouth unlike anything she'd ever tasted. I read that, I'm like, honey, that is not what a dick tastes <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like, that. Nah, like, it's not, it's... Mean. In, in my opinion, it's not a bad taste. It's just, it doesn't taste like But it like doesn't food. taste like smoke and spice. No. Like, no. It's a very specific thing that when you're doing it, you're like, yep, this is, yep. This is the thing. I don't, I don't even really know how to describe what it tastes like. Dick uh, flavored. It's, like what? It's dick flavored. Dick flavored. <laughs> it's a little like, it's kind of like when you salty. lick someone's elbow, but not. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, if you want to know what a dick tastes like, just lick your own skin. There you go. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Except it can be kind of sweaty and yeah. sometimes it's sweaty. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh oh okay. So I do have one thing to add here. It's not really related to book, but related to sucking on a dick. Um, Continue. <laughs> I don't know if this is something that you guys necessarily noticed, but um, when you are giving a blowjob and it comes in your mouth, the semen generally tastes better if the guy has a good diet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh, I've heard if that, If he yeah. eats healthy, it doesn't taste awful. <laughs> True story. I've heard yeah. pineapple. Yeah, same. That goes well, that's because it was from. Eat. Yeah. We heard from the same person. We had a friend Wait, who was like. like pineapple like, or he's supposed to no, eat you should pineapple. eat pineapple. Like, we had a friend who was like, you know, getting ready to meet up with a guy and she just bought like a ton of pineapple and was just eating it all day, every day. <laughs> She's she like, prepared. I heard it's yeah. supposed to make it taste better. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah, apparently it makes it taste sweeter or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, diet makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, if you want a lady to suck your dick more often, eat healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Stop eating And garbage. it's good for you. Yes. You know. And yeah. It's good for you, yeah. You'll look better, you'll feel better, you'll taste better. <laughs> hey. <laughs> if that's not a commercial for spinach, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Popeye arms, you'll, your dick will taste awesome. This is the real reason <laughs> kale has suddenly become more popular. Yes, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, sex in this book was awesome. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. It was a good time. There was so much. So and much even just detail. them lusting after each other. Like, there Some was a lot was... of times where they were just driving in the car, and they're like, oh god, I'm so horny right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there was the one time he, like, jumped on her sister because he didn't know it was her sister, and he was... Mm -hmm. So, keep in mind, this whole time he's fighting this Genesis, S. Genesis, whatever. And yeah. so, like, every once in a while, like, he'll smell something, or he'll see something, he'll just be like, BOOM! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm <laughs> next <laughs> to gotta, gotta bang something, like, now. Yeah. And so he, he looked over at his sister, because they were, like, driving somewhere together. Her sister, not his oh, sister. Oh, God, not his sister. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, it's Taylor. Oh, she looks hot. 
And so he just, like, kind of starts climbing on her, and she's like, what are you doing? And he's like, it's Tana. And she starts, like, unbuttoning his pants and stuff, and she's like, what are you doing? And he goes, you're not Tana. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I was Awkward surprised that he silence. wasn't, like, want to bang anyway, because she seemed into it. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, she was super into it, but then as soon as she realized that he wasn't thinking about her, he was thinking about Taylor, she's just like, ah, mm, no. <laughs> I woulda. I, 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 I don't care. He was you hot. Would've, you would've kept going? He was hot, man. No one second story. I mean, I would've told him, but I would've been like, but, you know, if you it's fine. <laughs> I, I, I suppose. I'm not sure how I'd feel in that situation. Like, on one hand, it'd be like, alright, I'm kind of offended you're not thinking about me, but on the other hand, you're real hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like... Hey, she, I she... just met you, and you think I'm my sister, but do you want to bang? <laughs> You're one hot mister. <laughs> exactly. Like, it would have been different if it was someone you knew, like, you, you thought the guy was into you, but, you know, they were basically strangers. And That's true. So I'm just... They only kind of knew each other. Yeah, yeah, and she was into it. They, they so... had seen each other at the hospital. Yeah. They kind of knew each other, but it wasn't like... To the point where I would be offended that they were thinking about That's someone true. else. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm I making myself sound like, like a huge slut, and I'm really thing. not, but not that it's a bad thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, like, three quarters of the way into the book, they're like, actual plot! Like, it's not just the Slayer demon dynamic, it's things happening that they need to fix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I this was my favorite one so far. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was a really good balance of, like, you know, we all know why we're here. And, yeah. but I'll have a good story, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it wasn't straight up porn, but there was a lot of it. <laughs> and it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, an, oh, my God, amazing plot or anything like that. But yeah. it was enough that it still kept you interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, the... and, like, her having to work through her trauma that was keeping her from being able to come. And, like, him mm -hmm. trying to actually care about her and growing to love her. Like, that was all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it was good pacing. And, like, the, you know, the first book we read was really, like, stop and go and... I don't know. It tried to be something that it wasn't, I felt like. Yeah. And the second one was really slow for a lot of it. But yeah. this one, like, you know, once you're starting to kind of get bored, something new would happen. At least for me. Yeah, I thought it moved pretty good speed. Yeah. yeah. Like I kept reading and reading. I'd finish like 100 pages in the night. Yeah, this one was yeah. really easy to blow through a bunch of chapters <laughs> all at once. Cause it was... Oh, yeah. I, like, I, nice I actually started this one rather uh, late. Like, normally I buy them and read them as soon as we announce the next book, but yeah, um, this one I started reading maybe a couple weeks ago, and I still managed to get through it all, like, because I just sit down for a night and just, like, there was, the, I think the day I finished it, like, I had been reading it the night before, I'm like, okay. Like, I'm starting to fall asleep while reading this, so I put it down, and I woke up in the morning and just immediately picked it up and started reading it again. Mm -hmm. I just liked it because it didn't, like, tease you like the other ones. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, the other ones are like, do it, do it, do it, no! And this one's just like, do it, do it, and like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, with, with some like it's got, like, I, I did like that one, but... I, I agree. I, like, I liked this one better. Yeah, that one needed more sexy times for sure. It needed more sexy times, yeah. I liked some like it, Scott. I don't know, I just, I liked the characters in this one better. Yeah. I just, I mean, some of them were really two-dimensional. His brothers, I think, were just like, you can yeah. describe their character in a characters, sentence. Though. Yeah, but it's just like, I, I mean, it was my favorite male lead. Taylor was a little yes. bit whiny, but it was understandable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had a I had a hard time um at the beginning liking Taylor, mm -hmm. but then like as it went on and kind of like as her character <clears throat> like progressed, I started to like her more and more. 
Yeah, she did start out very, very flat and kind of just like, I'm a badass and I hate demons, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And that was kind of her only thing. And I was like, okay, you need a little more depth here. And then when it, surprise, she's a half demon and now she's struggling with all this stuff. Then it's like, okay, yep. now it's yep. <laughs> a little better. Her arc was and, really and good, the, I thought. the whole thing that, like, she, she, she can't have an orgasm because of a psychological trauma of the, um, the soul shredder demon. Like, basically raping and murdering her mom and her witnessing that? Like, yeah. that was dark. Yeah. yeah. And that is definitely, like, a real-world issue that can happen. Yeah. Like, trauma can definitely block you from, you know, experiencing that kind of thing. But, yeah. Uh, and I was whereas, just... Okay. Whereas this book was, like, um, oh, she found a dude and he kind of, like, fixed her, which didn't sit awesomely. It's like, yeah, find the right guy or whatever that you're yeah. comfortable with, but definitely seek like professional yeah yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah like her, her overcoming it was just it seemed very like short and yeah just, like oh i'm fixed now and then like oh yeah, yeah you're all done because you have someone who's just like it's okay i'm here for you yeah it's like yeah fine that but it's definitely not going to be fixed that quickly and yeah. that not like easily but especially you know, when easily. the next morning the dude you're banging turns into a soul shredder yeah. and tries to rape you yeah yeah i don't know how she came back after that yeah that would, that <laughs> uh, i don't really. think she should have yeah. <laughs> so what happened was he's <clears throat> Aelin's trying to lose control because you know he's turning into like his demon side and you know previously it was just like you couldn't control himself once he got turned on like it was really hard for him to pull back from that but yeah. eventually he woke up and one attribute of these um this type of incubus that he is is that they can shape shift into like the um the form of the person they're trying to have sex with right yeah. so like any kind of demon he can like become that and so he wakes up and he sees Taylor and he turns into a soul shredder and like tries to rape her because it, you know, his, his whole demon side is taking over. Um, and I can't remember so, how she got out of it. I think one of his brothers like pulled him off she, of her. I yeah, I think she essentially just like, yeah, yeah. Shade, Shade was there and I think she kind of like, she managed, I think pretty much think she just like groin shots him and yeah. like, managed this time yeah. up. Yeah. But yeah, so I think, like, the reason he specifically turns into a, a soul shredder demon is, at this point, she doesn't know what other her other demon half is. She yeah. thinks it's an incubus. Yeah. But then Which doesn't make sense. Out. So, she what? she thinks she's an incubus demon, like, the same thing that he is, but, or a seminist, and he tells her that they can only have, like, male offspring. But there's yeah. other types of incubus, incubus demons that don't, so... Like, she just assumed that's what it was. Yeah. But then, so, him turning into the uh, Soul Shredder, because his whole thing with the, as Genesis was that he could sense the other demon half in her, so he turned into that demon to be, like, more pleasing or whatever. Yeah. They've got they spiked dicks, out. apparently. What was that? I said apparently they've got spiked dicks. Not pleasant. Yes. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> um... But, yeah, so he, that's how they find out that the Soul Shredder had actually been, like, raping and tormenting her mother for years before killing her. Like, she had thought it was just a, a, random, a random thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And her, and her mom had, like, mental illness and yeah, she had all this problems. trauma because Addiction. of it and stuff. Yeah. 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 And, it's, and she would always, she would tell Taylor, like, about her demons and stuff, and she thought it was just, like, a metaphor. And then she's like, oh no, there's actually a demon literally tormenting yeah. her. <laughs> this explains a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For like 17 years, too, because he's her father, but then he came back every couple of years and tortured her some more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like every she time she her. started putting her life back together, the demon would come back. Yeah. What a jerk. Yeah. It's okay, he's dead now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, sister. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and then so Taylor's sister kills their father because he yep. came back to apparently like do some incest. Yeah, he wanted yeah. to rape uh, Jem as her name. <laughs> so, and she just kind of turned, let her demon half loose and killed him. Yeah. yeah. There was, was little... this. Oh, oh god. Go ahead. <laughs> you go. Go. Okay. 
Um, I was a little disappointed because Jem has this demon side and she can turn into this um, scary demon. And I'm like, why didn't Taylor's arc end with her finally like turning into this cool demon and kicking some ass at the end? <laughs> Yeah, that would have been fun. Because they kind of right. swept her arc under the rug at the end to kind of focus on Elon's or whatever, his, like, mm-hmm. S-Genesis. Instead yeah. of, I thought there was going to be a big dramatic thing with her, you know, kind turning of having him. issues yeah. with the integration, and then maybe she would turn into a demon and fight through that, but no. Yeah. <laughs> maybe later. Well, it didn't, in the didn't happen. Yeah, maybe it happens yeah, in it one of the other books. Yeah, it could happen in one of the other books. That, that I would like to see. I'd like, like to see her kick some butt. Yeah. yeah. Not that she doesn't kick butt already, but... Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I really like the part when, um, like, her and Adolin are fighting together when they're in the sewers or whatever, and she's just, like, kicking ass, and he's just like, whoa, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bae. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did like that. They were always like, oh, man, they're so awesome when the other was, like, being a badass. Yeah. yeah nice <laughs> I was like I wasn't not necessarily disappointed with the end like the end ending like that end scene yeah but like a little like kind of weird about it because it's like the old married couple trying to keep the romance alive through role play yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is like oh wear some scrubs home and then she's wearing a hospital gown which, which is like, not sexy to me but no put on like a sexy <laughs> nurse costume yeah. or something yeah like, a hospital gown yeah no and then her sister answers the door which is awkward oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Her sister's there. <laughs> and she's like well that oh, explains hey. the scrubs and leaves yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're not about to have sex nope good to see you <laughs> yep <laughs> Yeah, demons are not shy about having sex anywhere and everywhere, even if it means their brother's walking in on them all oh, the yeah. time. Apparently, like, right. his brothers have, like, done it together. Done it not with each other, but, you know. Yeah, like, with, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, well, well all right. <laughs> it's also kind of it's funny, because they can all smell it. So, like, they'll be walking yeah. around the hospital and be like, ah, someone's getting it on the closet. Or <laughs> 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 there's, like, the scene where, uh, Adolin actually, like, walks, like, purposefully walks in on Wraith with another demon. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he basically tells him, like, leave or join. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And the, doesn't the other demon have, like, a tail and she starts to, like, grab him with her tail and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Well, they said she's, like, the, the sexy, like, devil woman. Yeah, I think they're, like... like s- Sora demons or something. Yeah. They're the typical like red skin, black oh, hair okay. with the horns and yeah. the tail yeah. and the hooves and stuff. Yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah. The, um, the demon hierarchy and all the detail that this author went into with all the different types of demons and how they like interacted with each other and stuff I thought was really cool. Yeah. yeah she I did really a great that. job with the world building. Yeah. And yeah, she like, was, like, the first five or ten pages were kind of overwhelming, but yeah. then after that it all yeah. flowed really normal. Yeah. Yeah. And she was really obviously inspired by, like, Buffy and Angel, which I'm super into, so I thought that was <laughs> funny. Because there were, there were some obvious references at some point. Yeah. A few points. And I'm just like, ah, I know where she got that idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the first chapter they call her... Taylor Buffy. Yeah. Because she was a player happiness. and I was like, oh, you got it. <laughs> but I feel like she probably got the whole idea of like demons can be good from that. And um, in the author's note at the end, she like says that she was heavily inspired by Buffy and Angel. So it makes oh, sense. There we go. Yeah. 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 Neat. Yeah, that whole uh, enemies to lovers trope is amazing. I love it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sexy. Very sexy. <laughs> oh, what else was there? I have all sorts of I sticky it was notes kinda... in my book, but it's all sexy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't highlight very much because I, I was, was a little too into it. Like, like, I didn't think. I just kept reading. Yeah, yeah I didn't take any notes on this because I just like started reading it and then it was just like going so fast that you didn't think to, like, oh, I gotta write this down. I suppose, that, which is a good thing about the book, like, it keeps you interested to the point. Yeah. 
Lauren, are you saying was, something? Yeah. Um, like, she couldn't come when she was having sex, but he couldn't masturbate. Oh, yeah. And I thought oh, that yeah. was kind of a neat, like, duplicity that um, there's one part where they're kind of having sex, and she's like, no, I, sh- I shouldn't, I can't. And he respects that, and he stops. But you can tell he's, like, in physical pain, and he's like, I've got to go find someone to have sex with. I'll be back. And she's like, really? You're going to leave me right now? And he's like, I can't. I really can't. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to the hospital. And she's know. like, are you trying to find someone else? And he's like, I got it. And she's like, okay. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> And as much as they hate each other, you can tell, like, they're, you know, she's in uncharted territory because she's never had sex, like, romantically. Yeah. She's only ever had sex, like, to get food on the table is kind of how she mm-hmm. puts it. Mm-hmm. And he's had sex with a good number of people, but he tries to be a little stingier because he's a seminist demon and he's trying to, like, put this change off. And so yeah. they're both like, looking for that emotional connection that they've never had in, like, a sexual relationship, which I thought was an added depth or added element to all of the sex. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it just wasn't sex for sex sake. It was... It had a purpose. (laughs) I also liked it because it was, like, you know, it was obvious that she had sex with a lot of people, but... Like, she was never, it was never seen as, like, a bad thing. Yeah, they never, like, went, like, oh, you're a slut or anything like that. Yeah. It was just, it's what she did. And I I like that a lot. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, there were... Do what you want to do. Yeah. Because she's hanging out with a bunch of Seven of Stevens where they're just, like, sex is cool. Like, Mm -hmm. why wouldn't you do it all the time? (laughs) (laughs) In fact, we're doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed the first time I read Simon and Steven. I'm like, really? I too. That's the name you came up with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of the names you read them and you're like, all right, that's a little <laughs> on the nose, but okay. <laughs> it was funny. Is there anything else anybody had? Likes or dislikes that we haven't gone over yet? I'm trying to look through my notes to see if I forgot anything. You should have taken more notes. I just, I like the book overall. It wasn't like a great book, but it was really fun. It was entertaining. It was meant to be entertaining. So, yeah. I mean, they... They kind of had, like, the the typical romance, like, oh, I hate you, but now I love you sort of thing. Yeah. I found that whole dynamic of the, oh, no, he's hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, it's entertaining and it's a good read, but, like, that type of relationship for, like, an actual, like, real-world relationship would not oh, end yeah, no. well. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, it would not end nearly that well. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Yeah, they had a lot of stuff to get past. Yeah. That they just kind of did because it's a book, yeah. but... <laughs> they worked through it really fast. Like, I think it's not... It wouldn't be impossible in the real world to be, like, you know, someone you just start off not liking because you don't understand them. And then, you know, learning about each other and getting past that. But it happened really fast in the book. Definitely. Yes. I don't, yeah. I don't like, even know just... what the timeline is in the book. Like how, what period and then of they time decide they love each about. other, yeah, and they get bonded mm-hmm. together for life. Yeah, and he kind of does it without her knowing that that's what's happening, and yeah. he's like, he's "Oh, I might like have accidentally killed he impulsively you." Impulsively starts doing it. Yeah, yeah. but the... I just keep a scalpel in the nightstand in case. I, just I was to I was really with uncomfortable someone. with that, where it's just like you know he's he starts he's just like okay, well I'm bonding with her, and it's like whoa, you didn't even ask, and then. But afterwards, like, she has to finish it. Like, she has, yeah. like, a week to to finish Decide, the ritual, yeah. and mm-hmm. otherwise it doesn't happen. So it's like, okay, that's better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. at least it's a two-way street yeah. there. And 
I, I found it kind of <clears throat> cheesy that she gets his tattoos. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense to show that they're bonded, but I'm like, really? I mean, like... <laughs> Yeah, some parts of it definitely were kind of cheesy, but hey. Yeah. <laughs> Nature of the genre. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Same That's with all, all I had. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I don't really have anything else. Yeah, no. Nothing else really stuck out to me. I mean, the writing style was fine. It was average and yeah. non-distracting, I guess. I agree. It was, um, there were a lot of times, like... During the sex scenes where it's like it's starting and I'm like, really? Like, these are re- weird words to be using. But then you just, like, get past it because it's like, eh, whatever. I don't yeah. really yeah. care. You're getting the yeah. point across. They called sex for everything. A penis was a sex. And yeah. And a vagina was a sex. <laughs> yeah, that kind and of stuff. Just were and the it's sex. just like, really? But then it's like, okay, moving on. It's yeah. not yeah. a big hang up. Yeah, that. That definitely distracted me too. It's just like just just call it like his penis or something like that. Like just <laughs> just please. <laughs> his I don't know if they're like trying to be yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they were like trying to be like delicate or something by calling it their sex instead of like penis or vagina. But yeah, I think it was... I'm just really glad they didn't use the word pussy. Yeah. Oh really? yeah. Really? Yeah. I yeah. hate that word. That's not yeah. It's not sexy. It me. was kind <laughs> of interesting because um. They referred to uh, Taylor and others as females a lot, which I mentioned in the last one bothers me. But in this case, it's like there's so many different species and kinds of things that actually make sense. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't I don't know if all female demons are called women, you know, Mm -hmm. so it's like calling them all females as a general term actually makes sense in this world. So after I realized that, I'm like, okay, yeah. (laughs) I think yeah, I you'll get a pass. Same, same thing too, because usually in any other context, when a dude calls a woman a female, is uh, when you run yes. the other way. So always makes me think of like the Ferengi in Star Trek, the female. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh. husband, for welcoming me to that world. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna say it like that so every time good. I see it now. A female. A female. <laughs> <laughs> so glad neither of my partners are in Star Trek. <laughs> like, I like Next I Gen, mind, but Deep Space Star Nine Trek. is slow to yeah. start. I don't, I don't mind Star Trek. Like, I've seen a few episodes, but like, I don't know how I deal with someone who's like super into it. <laughs> The fun thing is when you start a new show, because there are a lot of different shows for Star Trek, and then they're like, oh, the first season isn't very good. And then it's like, (laughs) not just the first season, it's like the first two seasons aren't very good. (laughs) Then you finally get through that, you get to the good part, then it's over, then you have to start all over again (laughs) with another two bad seasons. I have this really bad completionist streak. So it's like, I want to watch Star Trek, because it seems interesting to me, but it's like, I always want to start at the very beginning, and everybody on the entire planet has said, just don't do that to yourself. (laughs) And I'm like, but I gotta... Watch the movies. Watch the original movies. So it's like, I've seen, I've seen several episodes of the first one, and you know, there's, there's a lot of just like, oh my god, are you serious? And it's like, okay, well, when it was made... I guess it makes sense, but it's like, I know I would enjoy it a lot more if I started with, like, Next Generation, because that's what everybody recommends starting with, but I'm just like, but I won't know everything that happened before! Like, I won't get the the callbacks and stuff, because I'm sure there are some. Yeah. I just gotta get I'll have to start a Star Trek podcast. Yeah. (laughs) I don't have enough time for that, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've made I've made my guy watch all kinds of things. Like he watched all of Gilmore Girls and all of Buffy, and he read Harry Potter. And it's like I gotta have something <laughs> <laughs> that he wants me to watch. I got, I got husband to watch Gilmore Girls. Like he's watched Gilmore Girls with me mostly because uh, his computer is in the same room as our TV. So when I watch mm-hmm. it, he kind of like 
Oh, like, secondhand watches it? Yeah. But I've watched it so many times now that he's just like, are you serious? <laughs> Again. Yeah, he watched the whole um, thing with me and he loved it. And I'm like, I love that you love this. And he's like, why have you been hiding this from us? And I'm like, no one hid it from you. Just saying. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... <clears throat> I kind of got the boyfriend to start watching uh, Supernatural. Oh, yes. Like, we watched, like, this... Or, for, I, I doubt he's honestly watched this since, but we watched, like, the first few episodes, and I could tell when he was starting to get into it because he went from kind of, like, mocking it pretty much all the time to just yes. kind of being really quiet <laughs> and, like, leaning yeah. forward in the seat. Yeah. <laughs> Like, seasons one and two, they were, like, laughing at, and then all of a sudden, like, by season nine or ten, they were like, oh my god. And well, now we're on like, This was, 13. like, season one, yeah. episode, like, three or something like that, and he was just kind of like, oh. <laughs> yeah, he got into Supernatural all by himself, and I'm just like, I've already seen this, but I'll watch it with you sometimes. Yeah. I yeah. watched it up to, like, I think I'm on, I think I got through season eight. And I honestly haven't picked it up since. Yeah, I think that's where I'm I got not to. really. From what I understand, I'm not really missing much. So. Yeah, I, I just finished I season the thirteen. It's amazing. Keep amazing. watching. It gets okay. better. I heard about the they finally get out of their like. I'm gonna protect you. No, I'm gonna protect you. No, I'm gonna protect you. It only thing. took thirteen seasons. <laughs> uh, I think it's by like ten. By ten, they get it figured out. Well, this is <laughs> funny. I can't remember maybe. the season maybe number. That's, maybe it's twelve. <laughs> I can't remember the season number, but it's the one with the Leviathans, which is the one where I stopped on my own, and now yeah. we just got there watching it together, and he just, like, suddenly lost interest. <laughs> yes, like, that's actually, that's the season that I lost interest on, too. That yeah. might be where I was stuck, too. Yeah. Apparently we have to just skip that part. Yeah. <laughs> It gets really good. There's, like, all this stuff with God, and the darkness, and, um... Getting back to Lucifer, getting back to a lot of, like, the little themes that they had in some of the first couple seasons. But, yeah, this podcast probably isn't about supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> it deals with topic. demons and stuff. It's related. Yeah. <laughs> they have a lot of demon slayers having sex with demons in, in Supernatural, so That's it's related. There you go. There you go. Good point. <laughs> yeah. Bringing it around. <laughs> right on back. <laughs> Um, All right. Yeah. So what are we reading next? If that's where it's, we're at. Oh, Unless I've got it. Else. Yeah. It's Lauren's pick. Yeah. So you may um, be familiar with the movie Love, actually. Um, this book is called Dragon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so and pretty cute. much all you need to know is it's a female warrior, and I'm pretty sure um, there's going to be some loving with. Fergus, who is a dragon. <laughs> so, okay, do, you have and, the, uh, do you have the summary? Yep, it's by G.A. Aiken. And it says, It's not always easy being a female warrior with a nickname like Anwil the Bloody. Men tend to either cower in fear a lot or else salute. It's true that Anwil has a knack for decapitating legions of her ruthless brother's soldiers without pausing for breath. But just once, she w it would be nice to be able to really talk to a man the way she can talk to Fergus the Destroyer. <laughs> Too bad that Fergus is a dragon of the large, scaly, and deadly type. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so wait. I only picked this. But wait, there's more. Wait, Too bad more? that Fergus is a dragon. Um, with him, Anwell feels safe. A far cry from the feelings aroused by the hard-bodied, arrogant knight Fergus has arranged to help train her for battle. With her day spent fighting a man who fill her with fierce, heady desire, and her night spent in the company of a magical creature who could smite a village just by exhaling, Anwell is sure life couldn't get any stranger. She's wrong. <laughs> And that's the summary. <laughs> so I'm kind of sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Not sorry. Okay, so is he always a dragon, or does he have like a human form? Because oh, I'm betting he has a human. Form. I'm gonna guess he has a sexy human form. Yeah. That or it's some sort of like the dinosaur erotica. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I 
We should read the dinosaur erotica. Yeah, that should oh, be. Yes, yeah. <laughs> well, we're starting with dragons. Sweet. Okay, okay we'll, we'll ease into it. Easy. It's gonna ease into it. One of the reviews on Goodreads says, the moral of this book is, yes, dragons still do it better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so that was a selling point. <laughs> I am super oh. pumped for this. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. I was going to say, the author's name kind of sounds like a dude. G-A. It's, it might be a lady. She might have just done the first two initials, because you generally see... It might, it might be because I know someone who goes by the name Aiken, and it's definitely a guy. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Most this of her time writes... writing. I think oh, I it think... is a, a woman. It says, when oh, she's not writing about sexy dragons, she's writing about sexy wolf, lion, tiger, and other fang-filled predators. <laughs> We got uh -oh. a furry on her hands. Is she a, I was, I was just going to say, say, she's a furry. furry. <laughs> she's a USA Today best-selling author, so maybe Ooh. it won't be awful. <laughs> I think it's going to be amazing, honestly. <laughs> I now with one click. Furries. I can ask if they've heard of her. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, all that and more next time. Sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, quick announcement. Um, yes. We set up a t-shirt store kind of storefront thing if you have not already heard or seen on our social media yeah yay so it's uh teespring.com slash bodice ripping podcast if you want to look at what we got we got a lot of stuff and it's neat and i'm wearing one right now i'll show you i wondered Woo! about that Woo! yay it's very comfy and it's cute and i like it so check that out if you it, feel it inclined super quick yeah it shipped with, it got to my house within like four or five days of me ordering it so Custom printed and everything, so yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> you should show it again while you're talking because I think other people are making noise, so I kept shifting off of you. Okay. Yeah. Hello! So, I'm this is the t shirt, yay! So, yep, right here. Awesome. Cool. Yeah! <laughs> and for people who are listening and not watching the video, oh, yeah. that was it is a t shirt with our stuff. logo on it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a tank <Yeah>. top. <laughs> yep. yep. And we've got, um, I believe it's been, the link to the Teespring site's been posted on our uh, Facebook and Twitter. For sure, Facebook. Yeah. I honestly don't really check the Twitter all that often, so I can't say for sure. But, yes, it's for sure on our Facebook page. All right. And with that. And if you like us, leave good, happy reviews, because <laughs> oh, you love yeah. us. Yes, yeah. yes, please. Yeah. Have, uh... <laughs> yep. And if, if this is... I meant to do this at the beginning, but if this is the first episode that you're listening to and you want to go and listen to the older ones, I recommend just skipping episode one. Just. Yeah. Just skip season, season one. one is not very good. Yeah. Yes. Kind of like Star yeah. Trek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty bad, so just start with episode two. Like, you don't really have to listen to them in order. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, on that note, you can listen to the other episodes of this podcast, as well as rate and subscri subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and CastBox. Uh, we also post a video recording of the episode to our YouTube channel, Bodice Ripping. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Bodice Ripping or Bodice Ripping Podcast for announcements on the books that we're going to be reading. We post like the Amazon link and where to buy them. New episodes and other news, such as the fact that we now have t-shirts. Yay! So, thank you for joining us, and here's to a ripping good time. <laughs> Bye, everybody! <Woo>! Bye! <laughs> Bye.